The effect of a spinal cord injury depends on the level of the spinal cord that is damaged, as well as the degree of damage. The injury can happen in your neck, back, or lower back. The higher the injury, the more parts of the body are likely to be affected. If the injury is at the level of your back or lower back, the muscles in your legs and possibly your trunk may be affected. When you experience paralysis in your lower body, this is called paraplegia. A higher injury at the level of the neck can affect the hands and arms in addition to the trunk and legs. This is called quadriplegia or tetraplegia. Damage to the spinal cord interrupts the flow of messages between parts of the nervous system. This can affect the way your body works in three ways. First, you may experience changes in your ability to control the movement of your muscles in some parts of your body. You may experience paralysis, which means losing the ability to move a muscle, or muscle spasms, which are involuntary muscle movements. Second, you may experience changes in your sensation in some parts of your body. This can affect your senses of pressure, touch, temperature, and pain. Finally, you may experience changes in certain special functions of the nervous system called autonomic that control basic body functions like blood pressure, temperature control, and sweating.